Hey traders, this is uh, from the Tro Struggling Trader series. It's the best strategy in the least of amount of time equals success. So let's get right into it. All right. There are myriads of strategies out there. What is the best successful strategy that I can learn in keywords here, shortest amount of time, okay? So, you know, the markets have been probably pretty chaotic for you if you're a loser. And what we're going to try to do is put this back into some cohesiveness here. All right. So your questions are going to be, so how do I narrow it down to the best one for me? Hmm, good. Uh, how do I know this is a strategy that will work in all markets? Hmm, good. How do I learn this strategy in the shortest amount of time? Different from this one. How can I master this strategy in the least amount of time? I'm going to learn, teach you how today so you can learn it today, but mastering it is a different story. All right. So let's answer these and see if we have found your new strategy. So how do I narrow it down to the best one for me? You want a strategy that is being used all the time by the big boys. It means minimal rules, but critical ones. So I don't trade all the false positives. It must be easy to see in the charts, any charts. It must be tied to the big boy's agenda, or in other words, the big boys use it to accomplish their agenda. So how do I know this is a strategy that will work in all markets? It is, if it is being used all the time, I should be able to spot it in a trending market as well as a ranging market. It needs to act similar in both ranging and trending markets. It must accomplish a goal to a target that I can easily find. And it must be simple. No rocket science. So how do I learn the strategy in the shortest amount of time? The rule of 300. The rule of 300 is that if you will take a, a, a section of time and take one thing like what we're going to show you, and practice it 300 times all in one day, that's within 24 hours, and then take 24 hours off, so a total of 48 hours, you will learn how to apply it, all right? Your left brain needs 300 images. That's what neuroscientists tell us. You need 300 images of whatever it is for your brain to be able to do the statistical probability. World-class skill will be your objective using this strategy. If a trader would simply focus on one or two things instead of indicators, grandiose plans, complicated systems, they should be able to learn it and apply it. So how can I ma master this strategy? Master is different than learn. How can I master this strategy in the least amount of time? If a trader will focus on this one strategy, it will not matter what the market throws at you today you can still be on top of it. Okay, tell me what it is. The answer, pullbacks. Typical response, I hate pullbacks. The broker always stops me out on pullbacks. But pullbacks happen every day. Pullbacks perform a function for the big boys. It allows them to find waiting buyers or sellers, depending on direction, who want to join in this trade. Trading tip, almost all movements in the Forex have a common theme, continuation. It costs the big boys, that's the market makers, millions, maybe billions of dollars to create a structure in the charts. And to get a return on investment, they must try and continue it to its objective. So let's see how valid this strategy is. All right, so here's a 500 pip movement on the EJ, all right? Can we notice a few things? Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. What was the purpose? Pull back, find the waiting buyers to take it up. Pull back, find the waiting buyers, take it up. Pull back, find the waiting buyers, pull back, uh, go up. Pull back, find the waiting buyers, pull up. Pull back, find the waiting bar, buyers up, we're at target, done. Here's a down move. It's only 200 pips, but it's on the New Zealand dollar, which is not a big mover. 
All right, what do we got? Pull back to go down, pull back to go down, pull back to go down, pull back to go down. Wow. Pullbacks are your friend, and they happen every day, all day long. But the broker keeps stopping me out on the pullbacks. No, he isn't. The problem is not your pullback. It is your entry. Rule number one on pullbacks. Never buy at the top going up or sell at the bottom going down. Same movement, all right? So <clears throat> don't buy at the top. This is where most people buy, all right? Okay, it's going up, it's going up. Okay, yeah, I'm in. Oh, oh man, it just went back on me 70 pips, 60 pips. I got stopped out, the broker stopped me out. No, you didn't do that. You bought at the top. Where did the, buy, the bankers buy? They bought at the bottom, all right? Then, now the pullback, okay? What is this one? Back down here. Where did they buy? All right, you bought at the top, lived through the pullback, got stopped out by the broker, and what did it do? Went up. Oh, another pullback, okay? You bought at the top, lived through the pullback. This one, you probably make it through because it's not that big. And same with the next one up here, all right? And of course, there's another one here. So what did they do in a 500 pip move? One, two, three, four, five pullbacks. Five pullbacks for 500 pips, all right? <clears throat> if the pullback is not behind you, it is in front of you. Remember that. That'll keep you from buying at the top. I don't have a pullback. I don't have a, I'm not going to take this trade. I'm going to wait for the pullback. Ah, there it goes. Now I got an extra 50, 60 pips. This one right here was 70 pips. How's your stop holding on that one? Doesn't look like much, but it's 70 pips. All right, so pullbacks are moves to attract new buyers or sellers, and they are 100% manipulated by the big boys. Pullbacks are like a slingshot. The more you pull it back, the further the rock or the ammunition will go. Well, it's the same in trading. Here we have a moderate pullback. We have a moderate move. Here we have a big pullback. We got a monster move, all right? So the bigger the pullback, the more likely it is to go further to the further targets, all right? So pullbacks always target one of the retracement fibs. Rule number two. Never take a pullback only to the 214. It retraces to the 214. You're not interested, okay? Only trade at the 0382, the 0500, the 618, or the 786. And you can see right over here at the 214, I got to risk a lot to make 0.62 lots, okay? I don't have a one-to-one -one risk to reward ratio at the 214 because the next target is the 270. Sure, there are multiple targets down there, but remember, if it only pulls back a little bit, it's not going very far. So the target is the next target would be the 270. That's all you can figure because it didn't be pulled back very far. All right. So never take it at the 214. 382, great. 500, great. 618, awesome. 786, it's a one for almost five return on investment there. All right. Huge. All right. So get this. Pullbacks always target one of the Fibonacci's extensions as the target. Rule number three, only take them in either direction if the MACD is with you. Going up, MACD has to be above the zero line. Going down, MACD must be below the zero line. All right, so here we can show you here the same screen to the downside. Notice all these pullbacks we were below the zero line break on the MACD. And in fact, all the way over to here before we broke up to the upside. So even these might have been able to be taken. Depends on how big they are. All right, here's the 500 pip movement. MACD above the zero line break, pullback. No brainer. All right, next pullback up above the zero line break, pullback, pullback, pullback. All above the zero line break. See that? All right, so that's a rule. All right, but what about stops? Never use a mental stop. The 0 0.786 FIBO rarely gets hit. It does though, but rarely. So stop five to seven pips above that level. You will occasionally get stopped out, but you won't get consistently stopped out if you buy at the bottom and you sell at the top.
So we're going to look live and plot some to the replacement, uh, retracement fibs and then to the extension. Okay, so I'm here in the pound dollar and uh, we'll just take these pullbacks up. I'll do them one at a time so you can see them. All right, so here's here's the first pullback. This is the bottom. So you take the swing low to the swing high. Oh, get the right tool. All right, swing low to swing high right there. And this did not retrace to the 382. So it didn't go very far. So notice what happened. It didn't go very far, right? <laughs> there you go. All right. But it still went right to the 270 pip. See, this is why we say, I remember I told you about the 214. If it, if it retraces the 214, it, the 270 is the next target. Slingshot didn't get pulled back very far. All right, let's do the next one. All right, now we got one from the swing low, swing high here. Now this one pulls back almost to the 786, and it goes up to the 270, uh, 270 pip right there. See, from here, that's a pretty good distance. All right, now get another one right here. All right. Swing low, get this one. Swing low, swing high, another pullback. This one goes to the 50%. This one easily goes right to the 618 right there. See that? All right, let's just pull back and go even further back here. Let's, I'm going to try to find some nice moves here. That these are all pretty flat, as you can see. So uh, just try, yeah, let me find a, a little, there we go. Here's a, here's a little run to, to the downside, okay? So your uh, your first pullback is, is uh, you've got a double top here, all right? So this is the first pullback. Now, you can see that it didn't pull back very far, all right? So where's it going to go? Not very far, but it still went to the 618 fib. See that? All right? It didn't rock and roll down there because it didn't pull back up into like the 618 or whatever. All right, then you get another one right here. This is a pullback here. All right, so swing high, swing low, buy it, sell at the top. That one goes to the 50%, goes right to the 270, and eventually at the 618. Notice they're going to the targets. They're not going, they're not stopping in the middle of nowhere. These are known targets to the traders. Here's the next one, swing high, swing low. This one goes to the 382, right to the 270. See that? And tried to get to the 618, didn't quite get there. Now, we've got another nice one here, all right, swing high, swing low. This one goes to the 786. This one goes right to the 618. Notice 270, 618. They know where these numbers are, folks. All right, let's try a different currency here. Let's go over to uh, ooh, dollar yen, maybe. That'll be nice, okay? All right, so uh, let me see if I, I want to find something with some pretty good pullback so you can see. Yeah, here we go. All right, let me get, remove all the tools here. All right. So you can see here, we got a fundy here, all right? Then we got a pullback. We got a pullback after that. So we we uh, fib from the swing low of the fundy to the swing high. This one retraces to the 50%, right up to the 270, right there, all right? Now that's not a very far target, but from here it is. From the 214, it's not very much, all right? As you can see, but from here it's a good long way, all right? Then we get another pullback right here. Remove up. There's the pullback. See that? Not, that's not a flag. That's a pullback. All right. So I take the swing low right here to the swing high right there. This one goes to the 382 and easily goes to the 618 and uh, 270 and easily up to the 618. All right. Not, not, they're not. They go to a known retracement and they go to a target. All right. Uh, let's go around the exotics where we might find some pretty good size move. Let's say the pound Aussie here. Uh, and, uh, you know, I do a lot of work on the pound Aussie, as you can see. All right, let me remove all these tools. All right, all right. so let's go find a little move here. All right, so here's, you know, we'll just take this little move. Not very big. All right, so here we go. All right, so we got uh, the first pullback is right here. Swing high to swing low. 618 easily goes to the 270 easily goes to the 618 and this one goes to the 1270 and continues but we had a pullback before that so we'll take that uh, that one right here swing high swing low 618 to the pip to the 1270 and on route they went to the 618 and the 270 see that all right let's go back over here so there's a nice little run up here okay so let's take a look at it all right so here's the flat part right in here all right this is all flat right in here. And then we get the first pullback after the new high. So we'll grab the pullback from the swing low to the swing high. This retraces to the 618 and goes to the 618. See that? This is a 1.618 Fibonacci extension. All right. How far is that? 
9267 to 9395. All right, so 130 pips. That's not too bad. All right. Then you got another pullback here. Oh man, that looks pretty good because that's a nice deep one. See the slingshot? All right. So we go swing, swing high, swing low, swing high. We trace it to the 618, to the pip to the 618. See that? All right. So I just sent a couple. You need to go practice. How many I got to do? 300 of them. 300 of them. And then take 100 hours and do nothing but this. Don't go trade something else. Don't go trade your old stuff. Become world class in one thing. The market pulls back every single day. That's your opportunity. The pullback is your friend. The 100 hour rule. It's a forgotten study that shows you how you can become world class in 100 hours. All right. It's called the 100 hour rule. All right. So you may be familiar with the 10,000 hour rule. That's to become an elite. You want to become a professional violin player at concerts and orchestras? It's going to take you 10,000 hours. All right. You want to become a professional golfer? It's going to take you 10,000 hours. Okay. I don't want to become a professional golfer. I just want to be competent when I go to the golf course. Okay. Something like that. So putting in these 100 hours isn't exactly a cakewalk, but it's completely doable. At an hour a day, you could learn a new skill in three months. At five hours a day, it would only take you three weeks. Devote your weekends to learning a new field, and it will take you 10 weeks. It won't be easy, but it's possible. Remember, from now on, pullbacks are your friends.